cut it out. Cut what? Is he here yet? Phoebe, is he coming? Well, I guess so. You guess? You're not even sure? Oh, please, give me a break. Why should I? Phoebe, did he tell you what this is about? Dara, please, I can't tell. I called this meeting, and whoever is too busy can leave. I'm selling off the company and the other assets that I have. The proceeds I intend to donate to charity. You all will have to write out your five-year development plans and make sure they get to me before the end of the week. Fever, what's going on? What do you mean? Dad, the five-year plan, selling the company, what is all this about? Well, he discussed it with me earlier. He just wants us to become more responsible adults. Mm -hmm. Dara and I, understandable. But you, you were involved too? Huh. What have you done? What have you done? Nothing, okay? This is not about me. We all know how that can be sometimes. <laughs> okay. We're just checking to be sure the golden child isn't beginning to lose favor with her hero. Please stop with your righteous, sarcastic criticism. What is that? Oh, whatever. Can you just stop? Stop it! We're here trying to figure out how to meet up with that automator, and both of you are here carelessly trying to invent at each other. Phoebe, should we be worried? Not at all. Well, I'll be having a meeting with Dad once I'm back from work today. I'll brief you on the outcome. Oh, please do. I will. I will. So, Chief, how are you feeling today? Fine, I guess. <laughs> You're not even sure. And again, I'm not even sure of what I'm sure of anymore. <laughs> Chief, we miss your humor. So when are you coming back to the office, sir? Oh, that. There's going to be a lot of changes when I get back. Okay, does it have anything to do with these documents you requested for? Hello, Miss Fabi. Megan, what are you doing here? Oh, Chief asked me to get these documents for him. I was at the office today. He would have just given them to me. I asked her to get them herself. Oh, okay. Well, Dad, I'm just coming from your room. Please, can I talk to you when you're done with her? What about? I'd rather we talk in private, sir. If there's anything you want to say, I am listening. Well, I'd like to prepare you a meal, your favorite meal. I am not hungry. But, Daddy, you haven't had anything yet. 
Nana will get me dinner when I'm hungry. Is that all? Well, I'll just be my mom. Can I help? Yes, sir. It's time for your medication, Chief. I don't need those. I am as strong as a fiddle. Yeah, of course, you're strong as a fiddle. But you need to finish your dose. Mama, I am fine. You worry too much. Well, <laughs> that's my job. Are you okay? I feel dizzy. Should I do a check? No, 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 never mind. It's nothing, I'll be fine. Chief, you really need to get more rest. You need to stop drinking alcohol. Yeah. <sighs> Should I bring Dr. Kenny? Don't worry. I'll rest my head. And I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll let you get get some rest. But that's that's what you really need. It's okay. All right. Thank you. Good day, Chief. I brought the documents you asked for. Drop them and leave. Chief, I can come back later if it's not a good time. I said drop them and leave. Chief. Chief. It was nice having you around. Yeah. Have you seen the guy? Okay, okay. Did you give him the money? Okay, nice. Yeah, don't worry. I'll send some more. Yeah. But please, make sure he signs the document. Okay. Uh, why not? Tell him to trust me, okay? I'll send the balance. I'm working on something. Okay. So when am I seeing you again? Okay. Um... Uh, um, honey, I'll talk to you later, okay? All right. Bye. Good evening, Mira. Phoebe, I didn't know you were around. Came back a moment ago. Oh, well, nice. I would like to have a word with you. What about? They cannot be about money. <laughs> Did you just say that to me? <laughs> oh, well, then you. Because it's all about the money. Then talk to your father. Are you insane or something? You keep parading yourself like you're better than Dara and I. I had a really long day, Mira. I won't be doing this with you. <laughs> you know what, Phoebe? I've had enough of this. I've had enough of you. I'm talking to Dad. Good luck with that. You must be very stupid. You must be very stupid to say that to me. You get? What nonsense? Ah!
Yeah, we just got back from the hospital. His body has been deposited at the morgue. How do you think I should feel right now? You should be here. When? Whatever. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't even explain the pain that I feel in my heart right now. Please, accept my condolences. sister got this girl from. I am not surprised. She should be high by now. Nonsense. <laughs> Take heart. Welcome. You did tell us you were coming to town. Must I tell you before I come to my in-laws house? Eh? No, tell me. I came to my in-laws place. Yes! Or am I not welcome? No, Uncle James. You're always welcome here. Don't, don't mind your sister. You know you have been my favorite. <laughs> it's all right. Eh? Why were your tears? Hmm? Why were your tears? <laughs> so how did it go? Chief has passed, and even though I'm of the opinion that his will be delayed until he's buried, some of you here hold strong opinion that they will be read today. Enough of the explanations, team. Just get to it. Do I have all of your permission to go ahead? Of course. Go ahead. Does it look like I have a choice here? Tim. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So that every one of us will know our own shit. That is why we are here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is funny? Uh, uh, nothing, no. Mm. <coughs> um, well, here is the will of Chief Bad Mostoga. Hello, everyone. Detectives, you're here. What are you doing here? I'm sorry to interrupt your meeting. 
We just concluded an autopsy report on the late Chief Toga, and we have every reason to believe that he didn't die a natural death. He was murdered. Hey! The truth is coming out. Huh? So you girls, I have succeeded in killing my in law. Huh? You have succeeded. What is? You mean my dad was murdered? Why? How? Oh, I mean, why? Why? I mean, who murdered my dad? <laughs> he was poisoned, but we're yet to ascertain the motive behind this. I knew it. I said it. <laughs> Detective. Yeah. These two should be your suspect. Uncle oh, James, enough of these expensive jokes. Don't point any kind of finger at me. What's all this now? When you came with your big bag, I didn't complain. No, I'm here. Um, Detective. Are you sure about this? A hundred percent. Anyway, I'm Detective Marcus Bright from the State CID, and this is my partner, Detective Diane. Um, I'm Tim Lawson, the company's lawyer and chief's personal attorney. Nice to meet you, Detective. Same here. Um, I was about to read Chief's will, but um, I guess with a new turn of events, we'll have to suspend it. I would appreciate that. Eh, Detective? I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Uh, the barrister continue. The sherry has to continue. Eh? Yes. That is why we are here. Very important. Very important. <laughs> that cannot happen until investigations are over. Detectives, please, how can we help your investigations? <clears throat> Speak for yourself. Thank you for your offer. We'll appreciate that, sir. Eh? And guys, I understand that you are all mourning. I understand you're mourning at this point. But if you all give us your full cooperation, we'll be out of here before you know it. So out of the respect we have for the late Chief Toga, we'll be conducting a preliminary investigation starting from here. Mm. Yes. Uh, detectives, uh, before you start, please, I want you to be aware that uh, I just came to console the children. Please. Uh, just be aware, in case of your interrogation, you should know where you are directing it to. Uh, I, I just have to be uh, a bit careful. Uncle James, please let them do their job. Uh, they are doing their job. I'm just trying to be on the safe side. Are you okay? Do I look not okay to you? Okay. I just wanted to make sure you're comfortable enough to have this conversation. Why won't I be? I have nothing to hide. Okay. What was your relationship with your father like? There isn't so much to tell. He was my father. Did you both get along so well? When it was convenient. Okay, run me through what happened the day he died. We had a meeting that morning. And afterwards, I went to have a personal talk with him. So how did that go? Yes, the contenance had let you to leave the wharf in the next three days. Yes. I'll call you back. How dare you budge into my room like that? What do you want? I want you to reconsider that. You have no business in my affairs. Dad, is this what mom would have wanted? How dare you? How dare you talk about your mom to me? Have you lost it? Look at that. Hit me all you want, Dad. Hit me, but I'm still your daughter. No. You are my shame. Get out! I said get out before I lose it. I will leave. But I pray you doesn't get too late before you realize this. 
Look at her. Typical of him. He asked me out of his room and I left. Hmm. Was this confrontational? It's Dara. It's Dara. Answer the question. Sorry, what was the question again? Was this talk confrontational? It was a father and daughter conversation. I wouldn't consider it confrontational. And you graduated with amazing results. Yeah, I consider that my glory days. Yeah. Tell me about your father. My dad was a very principled man. One who had the grace of turning everything he touched into gold. Though he was also very rational. You worked as his firm some years back. Why did you resign? I didn't resign. He fired me. Why? He couldn't handle my dreams. He wanted to tie me down with the family business, but I had other plans. By dreams, you mean your desire to make music? Yes, but he played it down. Would that be as a result of your involvement with the guy Lawrence? Lawrence is a good man. But Dad saw him as a low life because he dropped out of school to pursue music. Is it true you were funding his musical career with the company's fund without your father's consent? Dad would never agree. And we are building a career that needed finances. Tell me through what happened the day your father died. Okay. He called us to come up with our five-year development plan. I gave him mine because I already had it. After that, I went shopping at the mall and headed for my music master class. Later, I was informed by the nurse that he died in his sleep. This plan you gave your father, does it have anything to do with financing a musical career? Yes. Look, I'm, I'm curious now. Did he approve of it? Hello, Dad. My five-year plan. If you think I am going to finance this madness, you must be joking. But Dad, it's my five-year plan. You expect me to throw my hard-earned money at the feet of your lover, a young man who has no plan for himself? <laughs> Dad, this is not about Lawrence. It's about me. I've got plans for our lives. Get me something reasonable to finance. This is not one. This is not fair, Dad. I love Lawrence. And we'll be together, with or without your blessings. What, what was the question again? Did your dad approve of your plans? Yes. Yes, he did. Can I go now? <clears throat> That will be all for now. Thank you. Would well, you need some more time off to pull yourself together? No. It's fine. Let's continue. I am sorry. I get so emotional when I talk about him. You think he's late. I understand. So let's go ahead. He had plans. Why would anyone kill him? He didn't deserve to die like this. He was a good father. Good parents can raise children that will turn out bad in the future. My sisters are not bad. Yes, they failed him. But they were not always like that. Tell me about your relationship with your sisters. We 
have our differences, but we still make it under one roof. Could you possibly give me an insight into their private lives? <laughs> Dada began doing drugs from her secondary school days. One day she overdosed on heroin and my mom rushed her to the hospital. On their way back, they had an accident. And my mom died on the spot. Did your father blame her for your mother's death? He is human, right? Everyone in his shoes will. Though they mended fences when she went for rehab and promised never to do drugs again. After her secondary school, Dad sent her abroad to father. But she never kept her promise. She began doing drugs again? Yes. But Dad didn't know about it until one day he walked in on her, sniffing drugs in her room. That day, he cut her off family's legacy. Is that the reason why she didn't further her education? Yes. Dad wouldn't sponsor her any further. Can you tell me about Mira and her boyfriend? What's his name again? Lawrence. Lawrence. Dad thought he could find his lost fulfillment in Mira, and he did. But everything turned sour when he found out she was bankrolling his numerous music scams with the company's fund. What would you mean by numerous music scams? Have you ever heard Lawrence sing? That guy sounds horrible. Don't get me wrong. I have no intentions of castigating my sister or her boyfriend. I'm just stating the obvious. How about uh, this lady, Nurse Nana? Tell me about her. Nurse Nana has been with us for a long time now. She started up as our house help when I lost my mom. Then that, in his usual act of goodwill, decided to sponsor her through nursing school. And when she was done, she became his personal nurse and confidant. Could it be that your father was intimate with her, wanted to upgrade her, thereby sending her to school? If you're thinking that my dad was having an affair with her, the answer is no. Hmm. Just love helping people. He was going to retire and move to the United States. Does anyone else know about this? Just me, I guess. He didn't tell Phoebe about his plans. Well, I don't know. All I know is he confided in me. What can you tell us about Phoebe? She's his favorite. He never did anything without consulting her. So there's a possibility he told her he was retiring? I wouldn't know. There's a possibility. About the five years plan, do you think Phoebe was losing favor with him? No. I think he was actually doing it to protect her. Explain, please. He always worried that her older sisters would overwhelm her with their problems if anything ever happened to him. He told you that? Yes. One of the days I went to serve him in his study. Exactly who I wanted to see. No, <laughs> don't just do that with me, Chief. 
What? I'm not, you know, I'm not happy with you. <sighs> what did I do this time around? Firstly, it's past your bedtime. Secondly, you asked for coffee late at night. Oh, come on, cheer up. The coffee was just to get your attention. I don't intend to drink it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nana. Yes, Chief. With each passing day, I get nearer to my grave. Why would you think towards that direction? We have to face reality. I am an old man. But I fear for my daughter, Phoebe. I wonder what will happen to her when I'm gone. I have this feeling that her other sisters will devour her. I understand your concern, Chief, and I fear for her too. I need to come up with a plan to protect her from them. Yes, Chief. You will come up with a plan. But now, you need to go to bed. Nana, you always have your way with words. Yes. And you need to go to bed. Right after you. Good night, Chief. She sure was loved. Yes, she was. Do you know anyone who could have assessed Chief Smith before his death? No. I don't. Okay, that would be all. He had so much energy. He was so full of life. I, I can't believe he's gone. If you were to use your hunch as a mother, who would you accuse of Chief's mother? No, please. Do not ask me that question. Three of them are my daughters. And I cannot single out anyone. Please, I beg of you, detectives. I want you to do a good job and find Chief's killer, please and bring him to justice. You can come for us. Babe. Babe. Mm -hmm. Can we talk? Talk? Yeah. You, you by this time of the night, hmm? I can't you wait your mommy. No, 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 no. See, you know I will be leaving early. You're leaving? <laughs> Lawrence, I just lost my dad. You should be here with me. I know. You know how Phoebe feels about me. And look, investigations are ongoing. I hate that girl. And I hate it here. Look, listen. When all this is over, you can move in with me. But we need to get a studio first. I know. Babe, that's why I'm trying my best to raise up the money. Look, listen. I'm sorry you have to go through all the stress. But I know that once we get a studio, things will get better. Okay? I can't wait. I love you. I love you too, babe. Come on. Let's sleep. Babe, you're leaving early. Don't worry. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. You sure? Yeah.
Scorpion. Yeah, um, can I can I get some stuff? Yes, I I I know I know it's late. I know it's late, but I'm out. I need to refuel. I'm mobile, damn it! Look, just just tell me where you are, okay? Tell me where you are and I'll just come. Hello? Hi, Megan. Oh, hi, Tim. How are you? I'm okay. I'm sorry about you. Yeah, it breaks my heart. Now that Chief is dead, what happens to the firm? What do you mean? Who runs the business? Phoebe has always been in charge of the affairs, so why do you ask? Well, I have my reservations about her. Chief wasn't very pleased with her the last time I was there. Well, Chief has always put Phoebe in charge of the affairs of this firm, so... Regardless of the misunderstanding, now we stand in. Well, I guess you're right. It's her father's company after all. Exactly. I need this signed. Okay. I will attend to them once I'm done with this. Mm -mm. I need them signed right now. It's urgent. Okay. What is it about? Some transfers Phoebe advised for me to carry out. Well, uh, we need to go through them first before signing them. Company's policy. Exceptions for when the MD is authorizing. Phoebe needs those documents delivered to the house, and I'm on my way to the house, so... Okay. Then I'll need a photocopy of these documents before you leave. Just sign them already, Megan. We can... we can make that happen. Thank you. I'll see myself out. Okay. I kept you waiting. No, it's okay. How are you holding up? Terribly. Mm. I can understand. Don't worry. It will be fine, okay? Thank you. What brings you? Uh, work issues. Yeah, um... I know... This is probably not the best time. But then, Chief has passed. We still have the firm. We need you back at the office. I've been thinking about it lately. I'll come in tomorrow. Oh, that would really be great. That would be great. Um, I guess I should uh, take my leave now. I'll see you at the office tomorrow. Okay. All right. Have a good day. <laughs> Oh. 
daddy. Oh, my daughter is back. <laughs> yes, daddy. You're welcome. I'll find it. How did your day go? Hectic, but interesting. Oh, yeah? Tell me about it. Daddy. Yes. Guess what we pulled off today? Sibi, you know that I am terrible at guessing. Tell me. Daddy, mm. that's what makes it even more interesting. Please guess. Okay. You sealed the deal with Zipper and Associates. Daddy, I closed that deal days ago. Really? Yes. Congratulations. You didn't tell me about that. Thank you, Daddy. This is a lot bigger. Please, guess. Phoebe, I am getting anxious. Please tell me. Okay. Remember I told you I wanted to tender for a federal government project? I remember. But we have not done anything with the federal government before. Daddy, there is always a first time. I know. I collaborated with a firm that needed funding. And we succeeded in sealing a federal government deal today. It's a lie. You're kidding me, aren't you? Here. Look at this. A five billion naira federal government contract signed and ready to be executed? Yes, Daddy. Oh. Phoebe, who are you? Your daughter. Come here. 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 Daddy. To say I am proud of you is an understatement. I want to let you know that you are going to become the backbone of this company and everything I own. Come on, Daddy. You're going to make me cry. But it's true. You have not disappointed me like your sisters. I am going to die a happy man, knowing full well that you are going to be at the helm of affairs in this family. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, Daddy. You taught me right. And I'll always make you proud. Thank you. Dad, I never meant to disappoint you. I am sorry, please. Sisters, what are you two doing here? Is everything okay? Why haven't you received our allowance for the month? Oh, sorry I didn't inform you. As long as investigations are still on, all transactions are suspended. On whose authority, you little rat? You think you can keep all father's money to yourself? That's not the point. No dime has left this firm since that past. How long would this be? until investigation is completed. <laughs> what impunity. You talk like you own this company. You're not even the eldest. But that trusted me enough to put me in charge of the company. Oh, well, that's because I stepped down. Point of correction. You were fired. Stop, Stop it! Me. Stop it! What is wrong with both of you? Even in grief, you two have the unbridled appetite to fight. 
Phoebe, you need to reconsider. I mean, we need money. We do respect Dara. Someone has murdered her father. And until justice is served, no dime is leaving this field. Oh, shut up, you little brat. Uh, I don't blame you. I don't blame her. I can't believe you stand here and watch her talk nonsense. Oh, you know what? I'm going to talk to that house. You will do no such and thing. And who will stop me? You? Hey, girls. I didn't know you guys were visiting. Visiting? <laughs> What's going on? She's going to see the accountant. What about? Our allowances won't only be paid, and we need money. Come on, Mira, you know you can't take that to the accountant. That's a family issue. Um, you know what? I'll get it sorted out, okay? Same. I'm taking your word for it. You have my word. Good readance. Sorry, I didn't know it was you. It's fine. I'm just trying to sort out some documents. Please have a seat. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm trying to adjust. I'm sorry about your dad. Thank you. Nice seeing you again. What can I offer you? Nothing. I'm fine. What brings you to my office? I need to have a word with you. What's up? Any lead? I have reason to bring your sisters in for further questioning. My sisters? Yeah. Here. Here. Take a look. These are records from their network service providers. If you look over here, you will see that Dara ordered heroin worth 10 million naira the day your father died. Then, we have the second or third page. Over here. Miracle to close the deal of a sophisticated recording studio. What's nine million naira just hours after your father passed? You think they are working together? We are hoping to find out when they come to the station. I just wanted to inform you first. Thank you so much, detective. I'll be on my way now. Can we have lunch sometime? I love that. Thank you. some minutes ago. He is going to arrest my sisters. How do I feel? Why would you even ask me that? They are my sisters, my blood. Let me call you back. Come here, Rebecca. Dara. Dara, what the hell? What's wrong? What did I do? You asking me, you seriously asking me that, Dara. Dara, you're the eldest. With dad out of the way, you should take your place. You know I don't know a jack about that damn business. But you can sign a check, can't you? Mira, look. Oh. I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't. Dara, would you rather we lose everything to her? What the hell is wrong with you? Mira, we failed dad already. Let this go, please. Please. Let it go. Wait, 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 wait. What, what are you doing?
you running from? Excuse you. No, no, wait, let's talk about this. Ever since that passed away, you've been isolated. You don't talk to my sister and I anymore. Well, except for Phoebe. Wait, you actually think we killed our father, right? You think we murdered him? No, 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 come on, say it! You really you know, what? What is wrong with you? Everything is wrong with me. In fact, I hate everyone in this house. No, Slana, I am really sorry. You're sorry? Are you mad? You're sorry for what exactly? Well, you're sorry, I'm angry. And you see, Phoebe, I will let her get away with it. And that's a promise. Detectives. Good day, everyone. Hey, what are you people doing here? Can you just leave us in peace? Ah! Every day, good day, everyone. Well, Sergeant Solani, let me have that, please. Miss Mira and Miss Dara, here is a warrant. You have to join me to the station for some questioning. What? Station? Yeah. You want us to join you to the station? Why? Mm. I need you to join me to the station so you answer some questions regarding your father's mother. But we didn't kill our father. But how do you think we killed our own father? Let me have that, please. We just need the both of you to join us to the station and clarify some transactions. That's all. Uh, detective, please, can we, can we talk about this? If truly they are innocent, they have nothing to be scared of. They just need to ask them a few questions, and that's all. But, but how do you think we killed our father? Mm, I'm not going to the station. I don't want to go to the station. Neither am I. Huh. Ladies, please Hello. Station. Did you do anything? Go, go, go. Go, go. Okay, sir. Hold on. Let them be. Hmm? We won't be making the arrests now. But the both of you have to remain in town because I'll be needing you soon. Yes, there will be. I just got a new lead on the father's mother. I'll be on my way now. Sergeant Olani, let's go. Serious. Goodness. Okay. It's fine. Hey. What's wrong? Megan. What about her? I was just on the phone with Detective Marcus. They have reasons to believe she has been diverting funds from the company's account. Are you sure about this? Yes. The investigation is taking a new turn. All this must really be hard on you. How are you holding up? I'm just confused. Hey. I'm, I'm so confused. Hey, 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 hey. You know I'm always here for you, right? Hmm? Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Hmm? But right now, I need you to get some rest. Because you look pale and stressed. Hmm? Thank you. I will. Do you want something? Ah, good. I, I just came in to check on you. I'll be in my office. Okay. You can't just badge into my office like that. And you would do well to shut up and listen. I called this meeting because I've been informed of some fraudulent activities going on in this company. You all are expected to stay in town until investigations are over. I didn't do anything wrong. Chief authorized those transactions. I need to tell her that. On what grounds? You think Phoebe will believe you? I cannot be tagged a froster. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Let's say you were having an affair with Chief. An affair? I wasn't having an affair. My point exactly. 
He authorized thousands of dollars to be sent to his accountant's family for no just cause. Who would believe that? Unless you were having an affair. We weren't, okay? You know, Chief, he met me one day crying in the office and asked me what was wrong. I told him my parents took a loan from the bank and the bank is threatening to take the house. He asked me to write a check that covers the loan. That was what happened. Okay. Look, I'm on your side. Hmm? I believe you. But then that's just me. Phoebe won't. Neither would any of the detectives. I am just trying to help you here. What should I do? Turn in your resignation. What? What is going on? Why is she here? She came to ask me to help talk to you. What about? The scandal. The scandal. Did she confess to the crime? Not really. Look, enough about her. What brings you here? I want to go grab lunch. Are you coming? How about you have my baby for tonight? Hmm? See him, not now. I'm still grieving. Oh, sorry about that. Chief was a good man. He didn't deserve to die. That's fine. Come in. Resignation letter. <laughs> you are resigning? Yes. Why, if I may ask? I need to spend more time with my son. <laughs> when you're being investigated for carrying out unauthorized financial transactions, what do you want from me? I never took any dime from the firm without Chief's authorization. <laughs> What's the saying again? A clear conscience fears no accusation. You think I'm guilty? I think we should wait and see. Resignation denied. You may leave my office now. I am here today to read the will of Chief Badnos Toga. Chief's assets includes two houses in the United States of America, three houses in Abuja, inclusive of this one we're in, $15 million in various cash accounts and investments, the real estate company, sole ownership of Toga Enterprise, his construction company, The will of Chief Bad Nostoga, written and signed in confidence. If anyone is confused about anything, we can talk. Although I don't imagine there will be any need for that.
I, Chief Badmus Toga, residing at number two, Badmus Drive, being of sound mind and body, declare this to be my will, and I revoke any and all wills and condescills I have previously made. I hereby direct that all my tangible personal property and all policies and proceeds of insurance covering such property in their entirety to Miss Phoebe Toga, my youngest daughter. She has absolute discretion and right to appropriate whatever she deems fit to other family members. This is the will of Chief Admiral Toga. Really? This is my father's will? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> the golden child gets to keep everything. Hmm. Everything? Why everything? I wasn't expecting this. Bullshit! Phoebe! You influenced this! You took advantage of Dad's weakness and made him will everything to you! You are going to sit there and blame me for your failures? How convenient! <laughs> Our failures. How dare you! See, I just, I just want to- Stop it! of you! Stop it! What's wrong with you? Has it occurred to any of you that we are orphans now? Has it? Mira, you and I know that we failed that, right? So if he decides to will everything to Phoebe here, we owe her all our unflinging supports. Oh, really? And we'll be left with nothing. Huh? He was our dad too! Yes! He was our father! I will let Phoebe get away with this! And that is his will. We all must respect it. <sighs> Fine. You know what? I'll just get in there and get my things and leave this. You don't have to leave. We all will have a part in what father left behind. Please. Are you saying you're not going to send us away? Send you away? No. Why would you even think of that? We are family. You two are my sisters. And I love you both. I'm sorry. I thought you hated me more. Because I, I, I don't. Maybe. <laughs> with you. Phoebe just informed me that some officers are coming to my office to investigate. I thought you said you can make this go away. Calm down. Hmm? You worry too much. Come to think of it. What's in it for me? Why should I help you? I don't understand. I thought you said you believed me. Well, I do. But you see, I've always had my eyes on you. I've always wanted a fair one on my bed. So, I say we help each other. Hmm? You want to fuck me? Just one night, one heart. My God. I don't believe you. Don't hate the player. Hit the game. <laughs> hmm.
There you go. Easy peasy. Just shut up and just get this over with. on the wheel. Yeah. I was waiting for you to come around so we go celebrate. Oh, sure. So what's new? Um, Detective Marcus will be coming around the office later today. He'll be taking Megan for questioning. Why exactly? What do you mean why exactly? She's been embezzling company's phones. Let he who have no sin cast the first stone. What do you mean by that? Drop it, Phoebe. Look, the will has been read. You have it all now, so I think it's time you let go. Let go? What are you talking about? Ask Marcus to drop the case. Why? Someone has been stealing from the company and he wants me to let go. I'll do no such thing. She wasn't stealing, Phoebe. Your father authorized this transfer. On what grounds would my father authorize a transaction worth more than $10 million to his accountant? Because she was his mistress. That's not true. Who told you that? Look, enough. Just drop the damn case, Phoebe. I won't. If she claims she was my father's mistress, she should go prove that in court. Fine. Let's say she goes in for fraud, possibly 10 years or less. But how long is a murder sentence again? Oh, I'm just thinking out loud. What? Cut the pretense, Phoebe. It's just the two of us here. You are going to pin the murder on me? Tim, you told me the drug was just going to knock him off for hours. You never told me it was going to kill him. But he's dead all the same. And I didn't put a gun to your head to drug him. You bastard. You wanted my father dead and you used me to achieve it. Someone is finally thinking straight. Drop the damn case, Phoebe, and everyone walks. It's a win-win for us all. Phoebe! Phoebe! What? Why have you been avoiding my calls? You know we need to talk. Talk about what? My father is mad at me and it's all because of you. Please leave me alone! Well, I think it's too late for that. What are you talking about? Your dad is cutting you off his will. What? That's not true. He wouldn't do something like that. I'm telling you he is. What have you dragged me into? Those documents he had the other day, what were they about? Can you just stop asking a million questions and listen? <sighs> Look, I'm bringing some documents to the house tomorrow, okay? And I need you to do me a favor, all right? Oh, 
soldiers. Look, you have to put a little of this in that food or drink before I get there tomorrow. You want me to poison my father? Are you out of your mind? I'm not asking you to poison your dad. He's only going to pass out for a few hours. They'll rush him to the hospital and that's, he'll be fine. Huh? Before then, we're out of the country already and we get married, baby, just like we've always planned. So can you hear yourself talk? How can you suggest such a devious act to me? Look, Look, I can't betray my family like that. Collect! Listen, babe, listen. I just need you to do this. It's not going to kill him, trust me. Eh? He's only going to pass out for a few hours and he'll be fine. Tim, please, I can't. I can't. What if it hurts him? It won't. I'm telling you, it won't. Okay? Look, I love you more than anything in this world, baby. Okay? And I'll do anything for us to be together. Just do this. Oh, do you want to lose everything? Eh? Everything, all your efforts, everything we've been working for. What would your sister think? Look, just think about that. Come on, please just do this for us. Tim, please, I, I, I can't promise you this. This is my father we're talking about here. Baby, trust me. I'm just going to put a tiny portion of this, just very tiny. Trust me, that will do, okay? That will do. I love you, baby. All right? Please come get me. I killed my own father.
you had it all planned out, didn't you? You made your sisters look bad just to divert our attention from you. Why did you do it? Why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never meant to kill my father. I never meant to kill him. It was just supposed to make him pass out for a few hours. I didn't know he was going to kill him. I didn't mean to kill my father. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you should be sorry. You should be. Because you're really going away for a very long time. Hello. What are you doing about getting Phoebe out? What are you talking about? You know she didn't kill him. Look, please. I cannot live with myself knowing she's there. She's suffering there. Look, Timothy, you have to do everything possible to get out of there. Tim! Hello? Hello? Hello, Mom. You scared me. That was the intention. Please. You need to get Phoebe out from there. This family has done so much for us. For you, Mom. For you. Not for me. Chief Old, you must say. And all he did, he did from his heart. If he hadn't intervened, you would still be out in the streets. It is good to know that you think so highly of me, Mom. But then, it gets me thinking, if Chief could be murdered in his own house, who else do you think can be safe around here? This is the last time we're going to have this conversation. Is that clear? Is that clear? It's clear. Good. Have a great day, man. Okay, I'm Detective Marcus Bryce, officer investigating the murder of uh, Chief Duga. So why are you here? The killer has been apprehended and is awaiting trial. That's right. However, I noticed some financial misappropriations within the company and here. These discrepancies. You can take a closer look if you want to. See, I didn't do anything wrong. Chief approved of those transactions. He only wanted to help my family pay off our debts. 
was what happened. Well, so you expect me to believe that uh, Chief approved a whooping $20 million just to clear your debt. Interesting, yeah. I beg your pardon. $20 million? $20 million was lodged in this account. And it has your signature. You approved it. The dates are even that dated. I never signed this. Look at these other documents, too. So did anyone forge your signature? I recognize this letterhead. And your signature? I signed these some days after Chief passed. Tim said Phoebe authorized me to sign them. What are you doing here? Oh, where is that thing? I just dropped by to have a word with your accountants. Look, detective, with all due respect, you have caught your killer. And as the new CEO of this organization, I would have to ask that you refrain from stepping foot on this property. We have a reputation to uphold. Let me have my documents, please. I'll do just like you said. I'll take my leave now. You should learn to mind your business. Nurse Nana, it's Detective Marcos. Nurse Nana. Is he your son? Yes. Yes, he's my son. What? I'm sorry I didn't tell you girls. Your father wanted it too. Wait. Is it father's son? No. Chief took him in because of me. I was raped back at the university. 
I became pregnant as a result. I felt so ashamed of myself. I had to leave the university. I dropped out of school, but never went back to my parents. On the night he was born, I dumped him at the orphanage and left for the city. Chief hired me. And after listening to my story, he took compassion on me and decided to put my child through school. So we had to go to the orphanage. Chief paid his school fees. And after graduation, he put him to work at the firm. Aha! That's it. The truth about my father's death. That bastard. Okay. All right. Okay, so now this means that uh, we can set Phoebe free and get him locked up, I guess. It's not that simple. Excuse me? What are you talking about? What is not that simple? I mean, he should just confess to a mother and you said it's not that simple. Do you expect my star to rot there? Listen, if Tim denies this in court, we'll have no evidence against him. As it stands now, it's not Slana's words against us. It's not enough for what we want. And if we keep pushing this this way, trust me, we're going to put Maslana in danger. And I'm not sure any of you would want it. <laughs> so you will let my sister rot in police custody for a crime she actually knows nothing about? That's not what he's saying. Oh, tell me, what's he saying? No, no, enlighten me because I don't get it. Look, I know you're very upset at the moment. You should be. But we don't have enough evidence linking him to the mother. If we don't bring up his strong evidence against him, we won't be able to fight this in court, thereby letting Phoebe off the hook. Detective, tell us, what do you suggest? Hmm? We further investigate. Investigate? We have someone who wants to testify to it. So what more do you want to investigate? Detectives, if you think we're going to sit here and watch one ingrate squander my father's hard-earned money, then you must be out of your minds. Look, I'm not here to teach you your job. The both of you know that my sister is innocent. See, if anything happens to my sister, I'll hold both of you responsible. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I was in a meeting with some of our partners. It's okay. It's okay, ma'am. And uh, we are glad you're finally here. Auntie Lillian said you insisted on seeing me personally. Yes, yes, ma'am. What can I do for you? Uh, you don't know me. Forgive me. You know, it's been a long time I saw you, and you know how these things can be. So, how may I be of help to you? Um, I am the mother of one of your sons. You are? Oh, you are welcome. I am sorry I don't remember you. Please, what is your son's name? I assume he's still here with us. I can get him for you. His name is Tim Lawson. Tim Lawson? Yes, ma'am. There's something I still don't understand. If your son is dead, how come did you and dad bring Tim home? You know, you know, it don't make sense to me now. 
while we were leaving the orphanage, we left a complimentary card for him to call us. And by the next morning, we received a call from him saying we should come and get him, that he was set and ready. We got here to the gate and saw him already standing outside the gate. And we didn't think anything about going inside. Since we had already done the paperwork the day before, we just turned around and headed back for the city. Freddy, or whatever he's called, killed your son, took up his identity, gained access into our home, killed my dad and got my sister locked up. Wow. He certainly won't get away with this. <laughs> and I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye to my son. It's okay. It's not your fault, okay? It's okay. Hello, detective. I'm busy. And I'm curious. What the hell did you pull me into? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah? You made me believe the cops were after me. When, in fact, you were their target. And who made me a target? Your crimes. You made me sign these documents. So all these years you've been embezzling money from the company. Twenty million dollars team. How could you do that? I thought you loved Chief. Well, you thought wrong. <sighs> you know. You must really think you're smart, Tim. Or should I say, Freddy? What did you just call me? <laughs> the name rings a bell, doesn't it? <laughs> See, I have a theory. You killed Tim Lawson, took up his identity, and became a part of Chief's family. You became his personal attorney, so you can have legal access to his estate, which makes it easy for you to embezzle 20 million without his knowledge. Chief found out, fired you, and threatened to lock you up. <laughs> but of course, you couldn't let that happen. You convinced your girlfriend, Chief's beloved daughter, Phoebe, to poison her own father. So with Chief and Phoebe now out of the way, the whole estate now sits on your laps. Wow. Brilliantly plotted, if you ask me. Wow. Impressive. You blew my mind. You think this is funny? Wait until I take this information to the cops. Look. You think you know me? But you don't know what I'm capable of doing. And you think it would be so hard preaching your little boy and your old parents in Namsuka? Hmm? Now okay. grab your things and exit this building. You are fired! Get out! Meet me at the bar tonight. There's someone I need you to take care of. Hello, Mom. Hello, son. How are you, Mom? I'm heartbroken. Phoebe is still locked up. And you know she's innocent. <sighs> Don't say things like that, Mom. Look, about Phoebe, I will see what I can do to get her out, okay? 
Mom, I know I haven't been too considerate of you lately. I will make it up to you, okay? That will be nice. Mom. Yes? Did you by chance have a talk with anyone from the orphanage recently? No, I didn't. Why? Nothing, nothing. I, um, I was planning to pay them a courtesy visit, so I was just checking to know if you've been in contact with any of them recently. Well, I have you now, so I don't need to go there anymore. That's right. Are you okay? No, I'm okay, Mom. Just work stress. Okay. You, you just take care of yourself. I will, Mom. I love you, Mom. Love you. Too. You did well. That was good. I can't say for a fact, but Tim is very smart, so I just can't be sure. I smell panic. I could hear it. That's for sure. How did you get entrance to this premises? I thought I made myself clear the last time, but you were no longer welcome here. <laughs> Your warnings were quite heeded. Not until you became a prime suspect in the deaths of Chief Toga. But what do you mean? I thought his daughter already confessed to the crime. She confessed to lacing his drink with uh, the opioid you provided her. But she never confessed uh, to strangling him, which was the actual cause of his death. You did not mention that he was strangled. I apologize. That must have been a breach in communication from my own end. Um, anyway, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't live under his roof, so how, how do I...? <laughs> I'd like to believe that, but not Nana. Your mother. She happens to say something different. What did she say? Look, that woman is sick, okay? And she would say anything to save her little angels. She never liked me from that. She's a psychopath. <clears throat> How did I know you would say that? Look, detectives, I happen to be a very, very busy man. Hmm? So until you have real evidence tying me to the mother, I would advise that you get out of this premises <laughs> right now. You're very smart. Yeah. I completely give it to you. Unfortunately, you have a loose end. And that makes you smart by half. <laughs> Megan? Look. This lady no longer works here, so she has no right to be here. She has every right to be here. She's your loose end, Barista T, or should I say, Freddy. <laughs> what did you just call me? 
You heard me. Wow. So you recorded our conversation? You bitch! I'll advise you watch your use of language. Frederick Ida, you are under arrest for the murder of Chief Badmos Toga. You have the right to remain silent. For whatever you say will be used against you in the court of law. Marcos! Marcos! Detective! Marcos! Officer! Are you... Detective! Officer down! I repeat, Detective. officer down! We need an ambulance! Marcos, please stay with me! He's still breathing. Yeah, thank God. Marcos! Don't you enter your me, Marcos! <laughs> 